All eyes on NASA's Mega Moon rocket as we get closer to liftoff. The launch window opening in just seven hours. Mission managers have been busy. They're now fueling the rocket. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. After setbacks and delays, NASA, along with the thousands of people lining up to watch the launch, are hoping to finally see the $4 billion rocket get off the ground. We have live team coverage ahead of the big mission, starting with New Six's Eric Von Anken, who is live from Kennedy Space Center tonight with the latest. And Eric, it is still a go. And Lisa, I'm a little hesitant to say this, but we're doing really well. There's a plastic table in front of me, otherwise I'd knock on it. But really, this is the best the countdown has gone in the previous two launch attempt. This, of course, being the third. So we're in the middle of tanking. Uh, NASA uses that word. Basically, it's fueling the giant rocket, the Mega Moon rocket behind me out there on 39B. So they're putting in liquid, ho liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen into those monstrous tanks. We just hit a milestone. So NASA just finished what they call this kickstart engine bleed. So NASA figured out that in order to chill down the engines, they have to chill them down before they send that super cold liquid, and liquid hydrogen through those engines, they have to chill them down. And in order to start that bleed, bleeding off the tank, bleeding some liquid hydrogen off the tank and into the engines, they have to open a vent. Well, remember, back in August when they tried that, they noticed that there was a sensor saying that one of those four engines wasn't chilling down. So here's NASA talking about it a few minutes ago with it going well. Again, the engine bleed kickstart on the liquid hydrogen side of the core stage is now beginning. Again, this kickstart is a pressurized bleed to close the vent to pressurize the tank and then a small amount of liquid hydrogen is bled through the engines there that you see at the bottom of the core stage. Now, if NASA cannot chill down the engines, it is absolutely a showstopper. That's why we scrubbed last time, because the sensors on one of those four RS-25 engines turned out to be not working correctly. So the readings they were getting, the temperature readings, showed that one of those engines was not chilling down. That is not the case. No issues with tanking, no leaks, no big leaks anyway. There was a 4% hydrogen leak detected out at the pad, but that's well within constraints, and mission managers are expecting that number to drop. So, so Matt, Lisa, we are on track. We'll be out here all night working towards that 104 a.m. launch. For now, live at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken getting results. New 6, 